All right, here we're going to take a look at a breakdown of a bunch of plays from the Grey Cup that I thought could help Canadian high school coaches. We did this last year, had a lot of fun with it. We're going to start with the Hamilton offense uh, and the uh, Winnipeg defense side of it. We'll do the flip, uh, taking a look at what Hamilton did on defense and what Winnipeg did on offense a little bit later on. So here, this first play um, that we're going to take a look at. I think one thing that, it, as a Canadian football coach, no matter what age group you're, you're coaching, even if it's young kids, you want to find ways to get your athletes the ball into space. Uh, and doing that with the motion allowed in Canadian football can be a great way to try and create that space for your athletes. So here, Hamilton goes 23, um, and you see here um, that Winnipeg is going to match the numbers. So they've got three players on defense here matching the three Hamilton receivers. Two on two to the field, balance box, okay? So Hamilton's going to add one of those players in here that gets them to add a player to the box. They're going to bring a player around on kind of an end-around action here, okay? Now, they don't really get what they want out of it because, you know, if again, if you're thinking this is man coverage, you're hoping that this guy's going to follow him, okay? We get a jet sweep coming back across here, and they're going to fake the dive to the field. So this is a, an action off of their inside zone game. And again, it's not perfect. So you see here with this player coming across, it looks like they're going to run this player across with them. So they do subtract one there. Okay. And then they just get a little pop to this receiver on the jet sweep. Okay. And it ends up being a huge hit on defense. But what I really liked about it is, again, you're creating, a, using a little bit of motion creatively, get the defense moving. You know, you got two players sprinting in opposite directions here. Okay. We're using this player as a decoy on this kind of end around bubble motion, right? We're trying to suck the linebackers up with the inside zone. Okay, then we got the jet sweep working away. Now, what you'll notice here, and I, and I think what can kind of trip some people up sometimes, well, how do I deal with this backside C gap player, right? So often, especially in high school, this guy's getting up the field. If they are getting up the field, then you want to be running some kind of split zone, make them pay for that. Um, so this is, you know, kind of an accompaniment to that. You see here. They're going to try and cut this uh, end off with this slot back or fullback that's adding in here. Okay, he's going to step at him and kind of bluff him, get him to get in that shuffle technique. Okay, and then he's going to slip back to the second level. So you see here the end thinks, okay, the quarterback's reading me. I'm playing the quarterback. Ball's already been popped to the jet sweep guy. It's just a half second, but he's able to get out there on the edge. Okay, and again, ultimately it ends up being pretty close to a first down. So again, you see that little influence there. Okay, this is setting up to look like they're trying to dig him out, you know, influence him maybe with this jet sweep and they're trying to get the inside zone downhill. Obviously, if you're going to run this type of action, you're going to have that as well. Okay, you see what the end around action does here to this player. He's screaming away from where the ball's actually going. Again, you get this D end and shuffle, but now he's, instead of having the quarterback quick toss here to this receiver, 80s able to you know get a good block, and then we're up, we're down, uh, we're down the pipe here. Back, we get all the way to the free safety. That ends up being quite a hit, okay. But we uh, we we're able to you know pick up that first down, create a nice opportunity there uh, with a little bit of motion, okay, and a little bit of a counter off of your inside zone stuff. Here's a really interesting clip, um, a little cat and mouse being played here on both sides of the. We're gonna start with. Hamilton just in a 32 set from a personnel standpoint, you know, this is actually the kind of fullback H back clinic or um, a clinic over here. Okay. They're going to motion him over to the field and they're going to watch the risk to create 41. And they're going to watch the response to how Winnipeg now wants to defend their boundary wide up. Okay. So we'll see here the boundary halfback is going to run over. Okay. And watch immediately what the will does. So the boundary halfback comes over, and that's what that's telling the quarterback is, hey, boundary halfback came over. We got off inside leverage. This is going to be a one-on-one. -on -one. Let's work our quick game in the boundary. Okay, you see them getting a six-man pass protection here. Running back's going to check release out. Okay, and what they're looking for is, okay, we're, you're going to see over here they're going to run a, a double-out concept. It's off a nice little delay. We'll talk about that in a sec. Okay, but really the quarterback is going to turn over here and try and just work this basic quick game because they think they have a one-on-one. -on -one. 
What they ultimately do is they take this Will linebacker and say, hey, we're going to HBO. We're playing man. We're going to bring this guy over. But we know if we go four on four to the field and one on one to the boundary, free safety, you know, playing on the field side of the boundary hash mark, that they're going to try and work this one on one. So this Will's going to go steal the quick game. All right, and try and get inside and underneath and really double this receiver from the bottom up, okay, and force the quarterback now to say, hey, I can't go there with the football. I see him pad that, okay. Now, maybe if he rips this to the outside shoulder, that window's there. This guy can be even more aggressive, all right. And then what they're doing in the front is they're going to play with a wide uh, defensive front here, get those four wide rush lanes, and then they're, they're taking this mugged up backer, and he's responsible for the running back. So that Will doesn't have to come off that and play the running back. You see this backer here is going to engage the center. Okay, and then he's got the back coming out. And it forces Hamilton into their next read. You know, they're able to check it down. I think they ultimately pick up the first down here. I'm not sure there's a holding call in behind it. Okay, but they're not able to get that easy throw right away. Again, whether they're playing zone or man here, I'm not sure. They're showing a man contour pre-snap. Okay, it looks like it drops out into some kind of quarters coverage. Okay, but I really like this, you know, showing that HBO look and getting the will out here buzzed into the flat really quick to take away that slant or hook from number one here at the sticks. Now to the field where the ball's ultimately now got to go because they're playing two on one here in the boundary. We're going to get a little delayed uh, stick concept. Okay, so... What, what I really like out of this is they motion. They ultimately almost kind of create a kind of tight bunch or cluster here. Okay, and then they're going to take this player, this on the, the player that's on the line of scrimmage, they're going to drag him on the under. One thing I think, whether you're a Canadian high school coach or summer league coach, super underrated. If you have a guy running an underneath route, put him on the line of scrimmage. So Hamilton does it all the time. Here this outside guy is running a vertical. They get him a waggle off the line of scrimmage. All right, they're just bringing him underneath to replace the linebacker. That's ultimately where the ball goes. Okay, and then here you're going to see staple concept in their offense. We actually had Coach Tommy Condell come on and break it down for us last year. You can check that video on our channel, break it down how they run their stick spacing concept. Okay, he's going to run the stick route. So you see here this player is coming inside to occupy the linebacker, the little wall. This player is widening to occupy the flat. We take the corner off the board. So now we've taken away these three players to open up. Now this guy can run that kind of stick route, okay? Five to six yards, turn, show his target to the quarterback. If he's got an outside flat defender, create that horizontal stretch on the flat defender. Here you see he's wide open, um, and they do. It's a good read by the quarterback because ultimately here, um, you know, this boundary halfback really becomes the low wall player here um, to the field. So he's got to try and match this all the way through because the, the Mike is taking the running back as the will widens out. Okay, the Sam or uh, dime player here is going high in the quarters. So you really see the cat and mouse game being played here. They want to go here right away. They take away option number one. They're able to get a little pressure with that wide front. Again, create four one-on-ones, occupy the center so he can't help, and then cancel the back. That would be the other place they could go with the will off here is that back check down. Mike's going to take it away, okay? But ultimately, the boundary half's not able to take this away. He's in a bit of conflict here. Quarterback's able to find him uh, and ultimately pick up the first down. Here you see that mug look. So again, really here you're getting 5-0 protection. Okay, so we're taking the center and not letting him help on anybody else. We get four true one-on-ones. And then when the back leaks, we're still able to cover them. Again, pretty good play by the quarterback to scramble, get the ball out. Not sure what the penalty was there, but great cat and mouse. You see trying to defend four by one, trying to take advantage of four by one spacing on offense being played there by the offense and defensive coordinator. All right, in this clip, I actually really like this. I didn't notice this the first time I watched it. But here, uh, Hamilton's going to get in tight bunch if you haven't already noticed how much really good tight bunch stuff there's been in every football league ncaa um nfl and the cfl recently something you should definitely look into i think it's a really really challenging thing to defend and something that can give you know offenses some really cool ways to change the strength of formations and move people around 
um, put the defense in some tough spots. So here, you get a really clean look at it. We're going to get a jet sweep from two week. It's just an ace 32 set, right? Nothing complicated in the formation. We're going to get this tight bunch. And they actually put again, like your fullback, tight end body type here is the outside guy in the bunch. What I found interesting about that is now that corner is usually relating to that guy. Now, obviously, what we're going to see here in a second is he's going to come across the formation and lead through on an ISO. And then we're going to get kind of two players here to help secure the edge as the O-line is running zone towards the field. Okay, going to base block the backside and run the ISO here um, up through on this Will linebacker. But ultimately what we're going to get here is, again, because of the jet sweep, you see here the corner stays, doesn't come with him, no response from the halfback. This Sam linebacker, who ultimately, you know, as he comes in, whether he's going to run the insert, whether he's going to run split zone, whether he's going to come leak into this flat, tons of options. We did a video on 11 personnel offense. This would have fit right into. Okay, well you see the Sam here gets his eyes stuck on that jet sweep. Okay, and now there's no extra player. We see the halfback, you know, running across to defend the jet sweep. Corner's eyes are on the jet sweep. Sam linebacker here, who should be tracing with this, has a lot visually taken him this way. Okay, and you see the really, really clean cutback creates to the running back. Just saw this is old school two back ISO. Just into a strong front. So again, they're running inside zone here to the field. So you're just getting your simple front side double team. Okay, working back on the nose here. And then we're base blocking number five out. We're going to bring, instead of lining this guy up old school, you know, in the eye, right, having somebody lead up on the will and running that weak ISO. Now we're going to get that guy coming from the opposite side of the formation in the tight bunch. Insert on 19. Eye candy gets rid of everybody else, ends up being an explosive run. All right, this one's super creative. You know, again, you're always trying to find ways to get your best players the ball in space. And sometimes, you know, you draw something up uh, and you hope it's going to work out. And this one worked out perfectly for Hamilton. So, so taking a look here. Taking a look here, you're going to see Hamilton come out in a 3 by 2 set or 2 by 2 with a tight end strong, depending on how you want to look at it. And again, you've seen a lot of Hamilton's game plan has been based on trying to bring number 2 weak across to create a 4 by one and then attacking that boundary side space or attacking the numbers uh, created if they don't over adjust back or adjust back to the field. So you'll see they're balanced up here with a 3 by 2 set. Sam linebacker is relating to that tight end. Okay, you got two on two out here, two on two out here, free safety in the middle of the field. Our seven gaps are accounted for. Okay, again here, you're going to get a little fake here to the back. All right, and then it looks like they're trying to set up some kind of toss play to the field. Again, trying to attack. Now we've created a, you know, a, a isolated set in the boundary, and this receiver becoming the fourth player of the field. All right, you see these receivers looking to show like they're going to stock block for that toss, trying to get the defense to flow towards that field side. You'll see with that action here, I think that's Banks coming across. The boundary half also coming across. Again, creating that one-on-one -on -one matchup in the boundary. But it also creates space in the boundary. Now, what the, the real interesting part of this to me here is they're going to run, they're going to make it look like they're running counter tray blocking. Like this could be some kind of quarterback counter, okay? Uh, and those pullers, you'll see the effect that's going to have. Okay, again, the linebackers bury in front side here, thinking that this is going to be a toss. They're following those pullers. Quarterback puts his foot in the ground and drops the screen backside. Now, I'm not saying if you're a high school or summer league coach that this is the exact play you would draw up because, you know, this is a, there's lots going on here. Okay, but again, I like the idea of, hey, we're going to try and force them to – be accountable for all the space across the field. We're going to create space over here by motioning a fourth player to the field. We're going to show, hey, we're going to pull these two, get the linebackers flowing this way, and then we're going to drop this screen back, um, backside. Reminds me a lot of, you know, something you see maybe from the Kansas City Chiefs. Okay, really well executed. If you're going to run this, you're thinking, hey, I'd like to run something similar. Maybe we run counter tray, and we just want to run this counter tray screen throwback. What you're going to want is, your center to come flat and entice this guy front side. 
this is going to look like a power counter double okay and then you're going to try and slip those three out whatever your screen rules are usually you get one guy coming flat out to kick a defender who's trying to make a play on the screen one guy to pull through and one guy to be that rat kill okay here you see him get out so cleanly you know you kind of see that here so we get number one out is looking to kick somebody out there's no one there so they get vertical number two outs able to get vertical number three is looking for that rat kill looking to make sure that this defender coming from the backside can't get there balls caught up the field ends up being a huge play for Hamilton see it here from the Titan again I'm not saying you need all these bells and whistles okay but this is similar to you know earlier on we saw that you know that jet sweep where we slipped up here right see how that's influencing these players on the front side you get the two pullers pulls 19 over great slip and again I think there's a O-line here this is beautiful stuff he's looking to kick out he's looking to pull up he's looking to rack kill this is really elite stuff on the screen All right, we're going to start this clip um, defensive side here from the tight. So you can get a look at what Winnipeg's doing here with this overloaded front. So here we got both defensive tackles. You know, even like this guy's basically playing a tight shade. This guy's playing like a four eye inside the tackle. Okay, and then we got, you know, our wide rusher here. What they're trying to do is they're trying to force Hamilton to slide three for three. Obviously, you don't want the back on any of these guys. Okay, and then what they're going to do is try and isolate the back in a situation where they're going to have to take one of these linebackers and they're going to drop the other one out. So what you're going to get, and this is their best pass rusher over here. So you're going to get three rushers to this side. And then one of these two linebackers that's blitzing is going to go and whichever backer is not blocked by the running backs, so whichever backer the guard step to is going to drop. So watch here, they know they're going to get the slide. Here the guard slides the big hill. We get the uh, linebacker through free to the running back. Big hill is now going to drop out. Now I'm not sure if this is a called stunt or just a late, you know, kind of natural game here for five to fall back up the field. Okay, using that natural pick. Okay, but again, you see here they're going to get those three one ones to the field, ultimately able to get the sack out of it. And by dropping this backer out, we'll see, we'll go back here to the wide cut. They're able to get four on top, three underneath in coverage. So whichever these two guys are going to drop out is going to drop to the middle of the field. Here's your two other underneath players. It looks like both these players are kind of playing like a soft cut to carry. Okay, and then you got two players for the hash marks here. So again, any kind of outbreaking route here, they can handle it, the corners, okay, if they get number ones going out. Number one goes vertical, so they're both, or so he's off here. You see him widening with that flat route, okay, and here we're dropping back to the middle of the field, okay, so we get our three under, four on top, shell, ultimately able to get a sack out of it. All right, this is an awesome look. If you've got a mobile quarterback and you run some zone read, this is a great little addition, so Really, it'd be, they, they motion from 32. Really, it's like 22 two back. Okay, and you're going to get the, a fullback H type here. Crossing the set like it's a split zone look. And you're going to get the Y crossing the set like they're going to slip into the flat. So now really late, we've added two extra blockers here to this boundary side. How's the defense going to adjust? You'll see the halfback here stays to the field. Okay, both these players are looking to slip outside of the defensive end. Now, if this defensive end gets way up the field, okay, you can slip with one, kick out with number two, give the ball and get underneath it. If he stays flat, these two are going to play around uh, outside of him, pull it, become lead blockers. Western's done this before. Really, really effective play. Here you'll see it out of the tight. Again, if this guy stays tight to the line of scrimmage, okay, we're going to pull around. Quarterback pulls it out into the flat. Easy first down.